at Aaron Hill's site of the 2017 US Open. Uh, Gil, what's one word that you would use to describe this golf course? You know, it, it's big. It's a big landscape. It's a big golf course. But the scale of the contours and the fairways, the slopes that you know, feed into the holes, are, everything's big. And I think the golf course architects here did a great job of incorporating this landscape into the design. <laughs> Sorry about for what you're about to see. Let's take them on. If the wind blows like this for the, for the guys when they're playing the open, it's going to be a real challenge. And it seems like, I know this, we're not all the way done yet, but there's a lot more holes that seem to be into the wind than downwind. And I think it's going to be one of the most enjoyable U.S. Opens to watch in a long time because guys are going to hit driver. And guys are going to have enough room that they can smoke drivers on some holes. So it's really going to help the guy that can hit it in the fairway, a long way. It feels like this has been here for a hundred years because it is so natural. It feels like it just uh, rolls along with the terrain and, and not a lot of dirt was moved. So f from that standpoint, it feels old and yet it's got the modern scope and scale of uh, what I feel like all the, the great modern courses have. I'm not sure I've ever seen a golf course that's in this good a condition. I mean, the greens are unbelievable. If you miss a putt, it's really your fault. The first cut of rough, you know, it's it's just it's just a, a roll of the dice, really. I mean, it's it's all a, a lucky situation. I mean, you can catch a decent lie and get a flyer, or it can go straight down into it. And I can only assume it's going to get you know it's going to get heavier and heavier and thicker and thicker as we get closer and closer to round one. It's a remarkable piece of property, natural fescue, and uh, the wispy stuff I like to call it has, has always been here. And uh, But it's difficult. I mean, it's a real challenge. It might not fit the player's eye. The player's going to have to really, uh, I think, get a few practice rounds under their belt um, or they're going to be challenged here. I think as they come down the finish, when the nerves are going to play a big part of that as well. And having to stand out there in that fairway and look up at this green and try and pull off a big second shot is going to, it's going to take a lot of skill. Gil, looking forward to seeing how it all shakes out here the second week of June on Fox Sports and FS1. Thanks for joining us here on Fox Sports 360 All Access. We'll see you in June.